What's up everybody, Josh here with Nippon Imports and today we're looking at a 1991 Mitsubishi Mini Cab. Um, this is obviously a dump truck. Uh, it is AC equipped, two wheel drive. And uh, AC blows very cold on this one. It's probably the coldest one I've had that blew ice cold right off the boat. And uh, it's about 110 heat index with 100% humidity. And I've had this truck running for about a good 30 minutes out here. And engine temps stay very low. And the AC performs extremely well. Uh, normally on these mini trucks, uh, without window tent, that AC doesn't uh, keep up very well. And I always tell people to tent the windows and it's 10 times better, but this one's holding up pretty good. So yeah, uh, very simple truck here. Let me just go over everything real quick. Uh, this is a, a, a model that we haven't touched. We just get it right off the boat. Uh, give it a, a good cleanup and put it up for sale. Usually our dump trucks are uh, nobody really cares about lift kits and wheels and tires. They just need something to work with. Uh, the body on this is really good. Um, there's only a couple of flaws and I will point those out. So besides the typical s scuffs and bumps that you see um, you have one small uh, rust bubble here. It's literally surface rust. You could take a thousand grit sandpaper, knock that down, and it'll be handled. Uh, let's see. You know, right here, usually this gets from people going in and out. A lot of scratches frame is excellent no rust or corrosion and there is no rust or corrosion in the bed this is just surface rust from obviously being put to use so but no holes or anything crumbling up in there all right so let's check out the inside Door cards are pretty good. Seats are okay. Uh, your typical uh, key truck seat tears. But most of the time when you're buying these things for work, you just want it to run good. You want that AC to be blowing. Let's check this out. As you can see, that temp is uh, colding there really good. Ice cold. Okay. So you got a four speed. And here is your controller here for your dump truck. So we'll go ahead and display that now. Oh, wrong way. Okay, and let's take it back up. One more time, back down. All right. Go ahead and shut that off. So with the Mitsubishi here, you can just unlatch. It's a dump truck, but it also has your fold down beds. So uh, even if you are looking for an, just a utility truck and you think you might not need the dump bed, it still acts as 
the typical trucks that we have here that fold down the sides. So um, I guess it could be a better to have than have not decision. If the paint is a little too much for you, if it's a little too rough for you, uh, we can get that painted if you just want to do a nice uh, commercial white back on there. Uh, that would do this truck wonders. I mean, if you painted this thing commercial white, it would be like a brand new truck because the rest of the body is, is really straight. All right, I think I got pretty much everything. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, uh, again, these are street legal, titled as pickup trucks, not mini trucks, not low speed vehicles. I know a lot of people always message me about the mini truck statute. Yes, a mini truck statute would apply to a mini truck, but this is titled as a pickup truck. Therefore, low speed vehicle statutes don't apply to these trucks. So, with that being said, that title is also easily transferred to other states. I have sold to customers that live in some problematic states, such as Georgia. I think Alabama was another one. Uh, even got California. I'm going to call that a lucky one. But it is a win, nonetheless. The customer got registered in California with a Florida title, which was which was great. And I told him that ahead of time. And uh, he said he was going to take a shot at it. And the law did not win that time.